Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, there was another massive solar flare. Very big, very powerful. Look at the eruption you're seeing there. Uh, the eruptions continue. Now, this is the fourth day in a row that we've had a solar flare. This one's an M M5 class. Uh, the sunspot AR2297 is extremely active. It's literally just erupting solar flares one after another. There was two of them yesterday on March 9th, 2015. This one coming very late in the evening, an M5 class solar flare. Now, it could produce a low frequency radio blackout over the South Pacific, according to NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory that caught this explosion an extreme UV flash. The other thing you need to know, this was an Earth-facing flare. I say it again. This was an Earth-facing flare. You know, Jesus said in Luke 21, he was asked about the signs of the end times. He said, there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. Distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things that are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And when you begin to see these things come to pass, he says, then shall they see the sign of the coming of the Son of Man with power and great glory. And when you begin to see these things come to pass, lift up your heads, look up, for your redemption is drawing nigh, and we're truly in those days. Now, there could this could affect radio burst. Uh, power grids could be affected if it hits it just right. Uh, so, again, we'll keep an eye on these things. And, of course, my biggest thing to watch out for is volcanic activity that can be triggered by the pressure that comes from these CMEs on the Earth, especially when they're Earth-facing or and or earthquakes it just uh, th the pressure from an, uh, a solar flare this big is just enough to break loose a tectonic plate that might be hanging by a thread it might be just enough to push it over many times we see major quakes happen after large solar flares especially if a solar flare is earth facing you know you could have an x class 5 which is huge but if it's not facing the earth, it will not have near the impact as an M5 facing the earth. We're seeing the signs of the end times. I mean, we truly are, folks. We're coming into a solar eclipse of the sun. It's going to happen on March 20th. A, a complete, a total solar eclipse over all of Europe. Oh, and by the way, that's the day they want to have CERN cranked to its highest levels. And that's the spring equinox. What? Something biblical is going on here with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ because we are running out of time.